What is the Acme client user experience? Well, one popular option is the CertBot, a general purpose Acme client. It provides uh, plugins for integrating with popular HTTP servers, Apache, Nginx, and so on, uh, as well as with DNS programs for uh, satisfying identifier validation challenges uh, using the DNS method instead of HTTP. I'll just give a quick example now of using the uh, IPA deployments ACME service to get a certificate using CertBot uh, in the standalone HTTP server mode for validating the challenge. So at this stage, there's no ACME account. Uh, we can use the CertBot command with the server option for specifying the base URL of the IPA ACME service as opposed to the default, which is the public Let's Encrypt service. So we use the IPACA uh, DNS name, which points to all of the CA replicas in the topology. We do this so that uh, there's consistency in which uh, URL the clients have to be configured with and also allowing the topology to evolve um, without having to reconfigure Acme clients. We we'll use the uh, cert only command saying just get the certificate, we don't want to install it in the web server or, or so on specify this uh, machine's host name as the domain for which we want the certificate. Uh, and uh, the stand alone option to say we want to use the uh, built-in HTTP server that CertBot will bring up to satisfy the validation challenges. Okay, it's asking for an email, so it's now creating the Acme uh, account with the Acme service. This has nothing to do with IPA user accounts. Uh, they can be essentially created from anonymous clients. We accept the terms of service. Uh, this query here is only relevant if you're using the, the public uh, Let's Encrypt Acme CA, so we can ignore that. It's now uh, satisfying the validation challenge and that's it, we're done. Uh, the certificate has been issued and retrieved. It was written to this location. So if we have a quick look at cert.pem, and here's our certificate. So subject f31-0ipa.local, that's this host name. Uh, it ha has a three month lifetime. There's our uh, subject in the subject alt name as well. So again, this machine's host name, and that's all there is to it.